One of the great benefits of this job is that I uh, don't do politics and uh, don't, uh, don't engage in it. But with regard to, uh, to that letter, um, I didn't, uh, wasn't my idea, didn't ask for it, didn't solicit it, and uh, I think uh, the testimony uh, that um, the former Deputy Director of the CIA, Mike Morrell, put forward confirms that. Well, joining me now is John Ratcliffe, former Director of National Intelligence, former Texas Congressman. John, he says Mor Morrell testified that it was Blinken who called him to put the letter together. And now he's saying this to our uh, reporter, that Blinken? I, I don't get any of this. This is a flat-out lie. Yeah, so someone should take the uh, shovel out of uh, Anthony Blinken's hand before he finishes digging his own grave. Look, uh, two people, uh, Mike Morrell uh, is the one that fingered Anthony Blinken. And uh, when it comes to these two individuals, one of them was under oath when they gave testimony, and that was Mike Morrell. And what he said under oath unequivocally was absolutely uh, the impetus for this was the call that I received from Anthony Blinken. He also said unequivocally, we did this to help Joe Biden in the debate and to help Joe Biden win uh, the presidency. So, you know, Anthony Blinken in this interview being too cute by half saying things like, it wasn't my idea, um, you know, uh, if he were under oath, um, uh, you know, I think we'd get the same admissions from him that we've gotten from Mike Morrell about this. The bottom line, Larry, is that, you know, this was a coordinated disinformation campaign to mislead the American uh, people. And what's worse about it was they had a chance to pull the plug on it when I came out and made a public statement saying this is not Russian disinformation, but they ran with it anyway. And while it's particularly troubling as it relates to Anthony Blinken, Larry, is the fact that not only did he engage in this knowingly, deliberately to lie to the American people, but he framed a foreign government for his misdeeds. And where that comes into play is everything that's at stake in Ukraine. There may come a time when the United States needs a diplomat with credibility who can yes, deliver sir. a message with credibility to the Russians. Anthony Blinken is not that person. John, I'm sorry we're short of time today, but you're 100% right. You're 100% right. Blinken will be put under oath at some point. Thank you, Tom. <laughs>